Hi guys, here is another video for you. Now this is a commercial premise. It's a family entertainment venue bar for lease. So as I walk through, just to tell you a little bit about something, this is the seating for up to 40 people on the outside. It is first thing in the morning, so it's quite empty. So I was able to walk around quite freely. So the bar is called Ali Pally's. And it's a great heart and soul of the community here. Now, as I walk through the doors, you'd be amazed at the size of this venue. It holds up to 160 people comfortably. And we've had many a great night here. So I've put some pictures in here of the nights that I've had. And people really flock to this bar especially in the summer when the season's open, you know, for all the people coming over on holidays. Great investment, this property. So this bar is fully stocked with chilled wines from around the world and chilled beers. It has a unique chill system for the beers as well. There's plenty of draft beers here, as you can see. And they have a unique system, which I will show you in a moment. And this venue is really quite large. As I've said, you have got a working kitchen there as well. Just going to give you a glimpse of the unique chilling area. Now, this keeps the beers really cold. So it's nice and ice cold when they get from your tap to the glass. So in here you can hold tournaments and you have got a private snooker room. So as I was doing research for this video, I came across something interesting. Now snooker cloths are usually green in color and this harks back to the origins of billiard games in the 13th century when they were invented as a parlor pursuit for players who couldn't play their usual long games due to the poor weather. And it's widely believed that King Louis owned the first indoor billiards table and the green cloth was intended to simulate the effect on playing on grass. So there's a bit of information you don't come across every day. So this is a fabulous room and you could hold some tournaments in here if you wanted. So this venue has it all really when you think about it. It has the everyday entertainment. You've got different games you can play. You have a dartboard section up the other end of this venue. You've got the stage with all the lighting. You've got those huge, huge screens here with the projectors. And there's two of them. So if you want to do... The Six Nations for all the football fans around campus all, you're able to do it's that. It's also got fantastic surround sound as well. I don't know if you can see the projectors there. It's black on black, but they are there. Down the far end of the venue, you have your darts boards there for your darts club and your darts nights. So you've always attracting people in for business, you know. And here you've got family games room with your pool tables, your games machines and your fluffy toys over there in the corner as well. So something for everyone here, really. So as you can see, there's various games around, different ones to play. So there's something for everyone here. So just let me bring you down here now. And this is the stage. You've obviously got another big screen there and you've got stage lights. So this is where main entertainment and live entertainment happens. And as I said, they've had some great nights here. And one of the good things about Campus Hall and where this property is located is that it's all year round trade. So you've always got something going on. The urbanisation doesn't shut down for winter, you know. For those looking for a night of fun, we have darts night 
we have the snooker tables, the private room and the pool tables. And you have all the games as well. So a lot going on in this one venue and it is really worth the investment if the right person is out there. So let me take you over and we will I'll show you the bars and all the rest of it. Now just here are the bathrooms. Just quickly on this wall as you can see that the Golf Society come here as well. So all parts of the community use this venue 24-7. I'm just panning around for you so you can see how large this venue is. As I said, it's for 160 people seating inside and 40 people outside. Just down here is the usual toilets, disabled men's and women's. I won't go in, you all know what a toilet looks like. And let's pop over to the bar. So just here you can see you've got plenty of cocktails got your guinness clock there and plenty of chiller fridges for all your wines and beers and your cold soft drinks as well you've also got your coffee machine here if you want some nice coffee you've got your tv there for your footy your glasses more chillers it's quite an extensive bar really and it's quite a long bar so through this archway here i'm bringing you into the storage room basically you've got some storage in here i'm just going to show you this door in here this is the chiller system so as you can see all the beers are on there hooked up and this keeps it being nice and cold and some cans and that so it's a really unique system so when it comes into your glass it's like ice cold and quite refreshing so just out here you've got your two boilers and you've got some racking as well for storage So if you want information on this commercial property, do contact Dawn info at to let to sell to buy dot com. And she can give you more information if you are seriously interested in this commercial property. So if you're thinking of making a new life in Spain and you want to take the leap, come over and check this property out so until the next time remember this is one of the best venues on campus all and holds 160 people inside and 40 people outside so see you guys soon and please share and like on your social media there's someone out there who'd like this bar